Hi everyone, Scott here with another Invest Scotland case study. And this one sprung to my attention when I saw it because I've had a few conversations over in the Silicon Valley, San Francisco area where people said, Scott, you'll never be able to get a 20 bedroom property for a million dollars. And if you find me one, I will give you a million dollars. And that's why we, we started the Invest Scotland side of the business sourcing high-end real estate for high net worth individuals and we've had this challenge a, a few times but this is why this one comes to mind so this property here this is a 20 bedroom big mansion big estate house and offers over 499 now obviously we're going to need to do some work for that but that is 20 bedrooms 20 bathrooms and if you spent half a million pounds doing the inside of that up you would have a 20 bedroom 20 bathroom house probably for less than a million pounds so this one caught my eye now I'm not saying this is a necessarily good buy for a few reasons, but I'm using it as a case study, as we always do. So two things we could do with this, we could renovate that back to being a, a showcase property, a home, one big place for someone to come and visit, to use, to even live in. But this has planning development, so planning permission for a development of 10 different properties. So if we're buying it at half a million, then someone's done the planning permission here. They've done all the plans. Um, 10 different apartments with the GDV of nearly 2 million. So it doesn't say how much we'd need to spend on that. I suspect, you know, it's going to be 500 grand plus to make all those apartments. Um, but we could end up with a block of 10 apartments. They could then sell. But the purpose of Invest Scotland is to get income generating assets and showcase properties for high net worth individuals. So if we were taking those 10 apartments, we would probably keep them for vacation rentals, rent them out and make our business a self-contained business now with the new legislation coming into play in Scotland these other types of properties it would be more likely to get a license i.e operate legally than say Edinburgh or Glasgow city centre so this is self-contained more chance of getting a license now this is a um, listed building so uh, in Scotland listed buildings it's category B. We can't just knock it down. We can't make fundamental changes to the facade. We need the permission of essentially the, the government and planning departments. But listed buildings are there to protect them. So they, let's say that this building here would always be like that to some degree. We'd need permission. So it's pretty cool that these buildings are there. They're going to be like that forever and they're protected under law that we can't change them. So that's pretty good. So 10 apartments to rent out, make that a showcase property. Um, this little thing here, there's a few reasons why the, this probably isn't right for our clients and we're using it as a case study. Well, when we look at the, the land, we would expect the, the footprint to be this large area here, but it turns out it isn't. It turns out it's kind of half the garden. So that's quite strange. So we buy that. All this other land round about it doesn't look like it's yours. Some things in the planning to say the, the entrance needs to be changed. So with um, listed buildings, very hard to, to do what we might want to do. There's boundary issues, there's access issues. Um, and this is unlikely, it says, to get a residential mortgage. So there's fundamental issues with this or something underlying. Maybe it's a wreck inside. It's, it's unmortgageable, meaning a mortgage company would not lend unless they don't see that as safe. So there's other issues here in a 20 bedroom property like that for offers over half a million. There's something wrong with that. Not necessarily a bad thing. Finally, where is this? Well, it is near Loch Lomond. It's right um, near, near enough on the banks of the, the River Clyde. So here's Glasgow. Here's Edinburgh. This is Loch Lomond. Um, kind of Helensburgh area. Really, really popular. This is the gateway to the Trossachs and the Loch Lomond and the National Park. So really great area. This would do fantastically well. Should that be 10 vacation apartments, as it says here? Then you would they, would, they would, they would be fully booked. That would be a, an excellent location there for vacation rentals. So not necessarily one we would, would look at personally for our clients, just because it's quite complicated. We're not builders, we do like renovation projects, probably not in our remit to renovate a, a whole building and, and make 10 new apartments. That's one, the listed building, it means that's not going to go through quickly. That's going to be a longer term project. So 
um, again, uh, puts extra work onto this. The boundary issues, the land issues, and there's something fundamentally wrong with that property that means it's unmortgageable. So um, that could be easily fixed with, with a little bit of experience and time. But for us, we would look for something slightly different. But I think this is a nice case study to show the locations of these properties, what we would do with them, um, some of the numbers involved, the different options and actually what's available for what prices in Scotland. That's what this um, playlist and channel is all about. Invest Scotland is it's educating probably overseas investors, people from London. And what's available in Scotland are just some of the fantastic properties and opportunities that we have. This one here is for a cash buyer. So for yeah a, a million a million dollars you could probably get that and make a fantastic twenty bedroom house.